you got a ball, and you're on top of a building. You throw the ball off the building at 29 meters a second at a 30 degree angle. What is the max height, hang time, distance from the building at landing, and max velocity? The first step of this problem is to break down the 29 meters per second velocity into both x and y components. The way we do this is by taking the sine of the launch angle times the velocity to give us the velocity in the y direction. So sine of 30 degrees times 29 meters a second equals 14.5 meters a second. Then we can take the cosine of the launch angle times the velocity to give us our velocity in the x direction. So cosine of 30 degrees times the 29 meters a second equals 25.11 meters a second. Basically what we did there was solve a right triangle. If it is unclear how we did this, review SOHCAHTOA. So now that we've broken down the velocity into x and y components, we can find the max height. When solving a projectile motion problem, we use three basic formulas. The formulas are as follows. Acceleration equals acceleration. Velocity equals acceleration times time plus velocity. Position equals one-half acceleration times time to the second power plus velocity times time plus initial position. Now it's useful to note that the formulas are integrals and derivatives of one another. So now for solving for max height, we can use our velocity equation and plug in our numbers. We plug in our 14.5 meters per second velocity in the y direction and our negative 9.8 meters per second per second acceleration due to gravity, and we set the equation to zero due to the velocity being zero at the peak. Rearranging the formula, we get 1.48 seconds to reach the peak. Now we can plug the time into the position formula to get the height relative to the initial position. Plugging in our numbers, we get 14.5 meters a second times time minus 4.9 meters per second per second times time to the second power equals 10.73 meters. Adding our height of 10.73 meters from initial position to the height at initial position of 100 meters, we get 110.73 meters as our max height. Now to solve for how much time it takes to hit the ground from max height, we once again use the position formula with 4.9 meters per second per second and set it equal to the max height. After rearranging the formula, we get 4.75 seconds as the time for the ball to fall from the max height. Finally, we can take the time to reach the peak plus the time to fall from max height to give us our total hang time. Our total hang time equals 6.23 seconds. Now to give us our vertical distance at landing, we can take the velocity in the x direction times the hang time, which will give us 156.44 meters from the building at landing. To find the max velocity of the ball, we can use our velocity equation and plug it in our hang time and initial velocity in the y direction to get the max velocity in the y direction. This gives us 46.54 meters a second. We can then take our x velocity and plug it into the Pythagorean theorem with our max velocity in the y direction to give us our max velocity of 52.89 meters per second. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching.